Hey, so today OpenAI released fine tuning for GPT 3.5 Turbo. In the next minute, I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself in code. The code is in front of us here. It's 10 lines of code. The first thing you need to do is upload the file to OpenAI. The second thing you need to do is run the fine tuning job. That's it. The main piece of work that you actually have to do to make this work is provide it with examples, which I have over here. So in a fine-tuned system, the, the format here, by the way, is slightly different to fine-tuning uh, previous systems, but you, you can see this is the current format. You basically give it example chats. So each line is a new JSON. It's basically a JSONL file, but Marv is a factual chatbot that is also sarcastic. This is what we pass to the system. And then the user asks, what's the capital of France? And then the sample response is Paris, as if everyone doesn't know that already. And who wrote Romeo and Juliet? Oh, some guy named William Shakespeare, ever heard of him? And so on. So we want, we're teaching our AI basically, the fine tune AI that we're creating, we want it to respond like this. So I've gone and run the file myself. You can see it finished in around five minutes. And now it's done, I can go and open it up in the OpenAI playground to run queries against. I could also sort of query this in my code obviously as well. So what we've done is, We've, uh, Marv is a factual chatbot that's also sarcastic. I gave it the same system command over here and I've selected my custom model. Usually this is chat GPT-4, uh, GPT-4 3.5, but I chose my custom one here and we're gonna run it and submit. Which country has the largest population? This isn't in the sample set I gave it. And the answer is China, of course, because it's not like it's a well-known fact or anything. So well done, um, fine-tuned model, it gave the right answer in sort of a very similar format to what I had in my JSONL file. Now, if we take a look at what this would have been like if I did GPT-4 model, so I gave it the same system prompt, and you can see it's given an answer, it is actually doing something similar, and it's sarcastic, um, and giving me the factual answer of China, it's actually a bit longer, um, and it, the, the, what's interesting is the, the this response is actually more similar to the fine-tuned model which makes sense. But if you take a look at all the answers here, they're all very short and to the point. Um, this actually goes on a bit for like two, three lines. The other way you could do this is with GPT-4. You could also just sort of parse in the examples. And by the way, if you're thinking about jumping for fine tuning, this actually might be the quickest way for you to do it. Just pass examples into your prompt. So all those examples I had in the JSONL file, here I just passed it. These are example ways to answer the question. And here you can see the answer, China, unbelievable, isn't it? With a little over 1.4 billion people, blah, 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 blah. And so you get similar results. Uh, this is obviously a very basic example, but you can imagine there are gonna be use cases where if you've given 500 different examples of how to do your specific task, how to classify something, whatever it is, the fine tuning model could come up with better results. The last thing I'm gonna end off with here is the pricing. Um, GPT-4, if you're not familiar, costs around 30, well, it costs exactly $30 per million tokens um, for the input and then $60 per million tokens for the output. GPT-3.5 is way cheaper. It's around 20 times cheaper. So that's only $1.50 uh, per million tokens. And the pricing for fine tuning models is somewhere in between. Now there's three parts to the fine tuning models. Um, there's a training part. This is sort of a one-time thing. Um, for each model you create. So you might have 500 examples and one training set. So if you're using one model, then sort of you can see this as a one-time thing. It doesn't matter that much how much it's cost, probably relatively cheap. But then this pricing input and output usage, this is what you get every time. And this costs $12 per million tokens uh, for the input usage. So this is starting to get similar in price to GPT-4. Uh, basically it's two and a half times cheaper than GPT-4, but it's eight times or six to eight times more expensive than GPT-3.5 Turbo. Um, there are ways that you save money because if you see the example, I over here I had to pass in all the examples and these, this, these are tokens you're spending every single time you send this prompt. But over here in the uh, 3.5 Turbo example, I had to provide very little information. So here I start to, to save on tokens, but it is more expensive than GPT 3.5, but obviously it could be better than GPT 3.5 because it's fine tuned to your, to your own problem. And it can even outperform GPT 4 um, because it's specific to your problem. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video and yeah, I'd love to see what you build with it.